Hi, welcome back to the shop. My name is Steven Schroeder and today we're going to be doing weapon maintenance. When steel fighting, frequently you're going to get some dings and dents and some sharp points that need to be taken care of in the weapon. If left unchecked, these can damage other people's armor, uh, cause nicks that can be dangerous and get sharp, and generally cause problems for you. So right now we're going to go ahead and uh, take care of those. So this blade that we have that needs to be worked on before the upcoming tournament has a sharp nick on it here. I could cut myself on that. It has an edge that is spalled and flattened out in here. Um, and it also has a point right here that's uh, nicked a little bit. Um, just running my hand along the edge, I can feel those. Um, let's go ahead and get those taken care of now. If left unchecked, these can cause and lead to some bigger problems. Um, this blade is not super tempered. We don't have to worry about that. It's got a slight temper to it, but it's still malleable enough to be worked. What we're gonna do is on these areas that is very sharp, we're gonna start by hammering it. We're going to take the, a flat hammer and we're gonna hit it so it's actually parallel to the blade. And we're just gonna strike it a few times until that area is no longer sticking up and sharp. We'll come back and hit that with a file here shortly. We're just gonna run our hand along the edge and find other problem areas. This area here uh, has been pushed back. I don't know if you can see that it's slightly uh, dented right here. I'm gonna to try to hit that and push the metal back. Um, so that has been smoothed out. And the one other problem area, just running my hands along and feeling it, is here at the tip. I don't know if you can see that sharp part that's sticking up there. We're going to go ahead and... This doesn't require any really special tools. You can just get a big heavy piece of metal that you strike on and any flat hammer will do. Uh, running my hands along the edge, there's one more area right here that I feel on this side. I hit the opposite side, but this one's still up a little bit. Now, I'm trying to hit this in such a way that I'm not leaving marks on the metal. If I am holding this at an odd angle, the edges will leave divots and marks in the blade. Not advisable. We're going to head just practice nice and smooth, nice and flat strokes. Everything else on here feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and get a file, and then we'll go ahead and file this edge. So I have a file here that only has the um, teeth going in one direction. So this is only going to cut as I'm pushing. The return stroke won't do anything. So all I'm going to do is push and move it slightly as an angle as I go across. And all we're trying to do is get any of those sharp edges out of this. Flip it over to the other side. Now we're not trying to sharpen the blade at all. What we're trying to do is just round off the edges. So if we look at this area right here, this is where that one divot was in that, that was sharp. If I'm running my finger along the edge here, it's still sharp in this area. It's still causing a problem. You can try doing a couple different things. I can take a hammer and hammer it down and that takes care of a good portion of it. So if I wanted to, I could just have an anvil here, hammering, hammering it flat helps take care of some of them. I could do that to these spaces. It definitely helps some of these areas. And then we'll go back into here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna file over that section here. I'm just gonna try to take off some material until that's no longer grabbing. I'm not gonna worry about going until it's perfect because that'll lose too much material, but I don't want it to be something that's gonna be sharp enough to be a problematic. And that is now smooth enough that it'll pass any martial muster you need to go to. 
So these aren't perfect. I could continue to file those out, but this right now will pass any marginal inspection that it needs to. So if you leave small problem areas too long, they become bigger problems. That one nick could have gotten a lot bigger and then it's more difficult to get out. Right now, this weapon is ready for the field. One thing we can do, uh, right now we notice that there is some patina on the blade. It's kind of dirty. One thing we can do is take this over to a quick buffer and clean her up. better. We could do it more and clean it up, but I think that's perfectly fine. So now we have a sword that's ready to see action again. Um, thank you for joining us. Until next time.